Welcome to video two of making a refill in SolidWorks. In the last video, we left off about here. Uh, so why don't we get working on, how about the wing this time? I'm going to start uh, by looking at my top view. You can see the wing comes out of the body and ends about there. But if I go to my front view, we're looking about right there, right? So let's make a plane. Because I like to sketch 2D when possible. We're going to uh, reference this off of the right plane here. We're going to take that out to the end of the wing. About there. Uh, now, from here, it takes a little bit of juggling between your views. But uh, the wing is roughly a slot shape. Now you may want to go through a wing that can produce lift. I'm going to use a slot as a placeholder. This is more about spending time uh, interacting with the image and how to model from an image rather than some kind of aeronautical engineering design. Then I bring this up here to about the level that the wing is in the picture. Now, we're a little bit too tall. Slots can be a little bit frustrating to work with. There we go. Now we're probably going to be too narrow, but I'm sure I'll lengthen it out. So we're just going to get it perfect in this one view. Probably be a little bit easier to see if I were to hide my plane. It just doesn't quite let me adjust it when I'm looking at it straight on. So I can find adjustments. Okay, that looks like we're getting to be in the right spot. So let's go from the top. Uh, I'm going to ignore this uh, feature here and only focus on where our wing is going to be. I'm going to move the wing right about there. Looking again from the top, it looks like our Wing is going to just kiss the edge of that arc. And that's what we want. And it looks like we're actually about the same right there, too. So now to reference the ends of the arc, I'm going to put a sketch point at the midpoint of each arc. And we'll rebuild. Uh, looking at the completed sketch one more time, you know, I want to lower this just a bit. Z and lowering it from the top apparently where it wants to be lowered from. Control 1. Okay, I'll take that. Next, I uh, want to look at this from the top and sketch from the top plane. Uh, I want to make a reference with construction lines. I'm going to go all the way to my right plane. And I'm going to reference, if I were to loft from the right plane, where would I want my sketch to start and end? Looks like right there I hugged the wing very nicely. So with those references done, highlight the right plane and create a sketch. I want to do the same and making a slot. I'm going to put a point 
at the center point of each arc. I'm going to reference vertical here and vertical to the other point on my sketch there. These slots do act funny sometimes. And it's actually letting me adjust this one straight on when the other one wasn't letting me. So I think that's about right. If I were to draw a straight line, I think I need the top of my slot to be a little bit higher. This to be a little bit lower. A bit higher. A bit overall bigger. We're going to say that that's good. Features. Let's do a loft from here to there. Uh, but uh, we've got some self-intersecting. Okay. Move that over here. And that's our wing. Now if I take a look from the front, the body seems to match the image decently well. It looks like the wing isn't as thick. I actually think that that's more realistic than the image in the original model that I had. So I'm going to leave that. Then coming from the top, it matches almost perfectly. So I think we have a pretty reliable wing. Uh, how about I save some features on my history tree and create some features that uh, will be mirrored later. So the first thing I'm going to do is run on the top plane, create a sketch. And uh -huh, I'm at corner to corner rectangle. So I'll control Z. I'm going to change that to corner rectangle. Right about there uh, to encompass uh, what I'm looking at. Features, extrude. I'm going to choose offset, and I can change this offset here. Looking from the top. Well, yeah, I'll go this way. Cover the length just like that. Fantastic. And next, I've blocked my sketch. Uh, it looks like top and bottom. I can't see some of the very particular features. And so, one trick that I can do is uh, go to my very top level part under appearances. I choose the whole part. And I'm going to say, I'm going to change this thing to glass. I'll make this clear glass. And with clear glass I can see my sketch. That's what I want. So I'm going to choose this face and create a sketch. I'm going to choose an arc. This will be a three-point arc. Take the center point and make it horizontal with this bottom point so that we know it ends on vertical. That seems like a good match there. You'll see uh, this edge should be over here according to the sketch. But if I go to the front view, we are 
almost right on. Maybe I could have gone a little bit over, but what we're looking at really is just a mild difference between the two images. All right, going back to the top view. There it is. Uh, features, extrude cut, through all. So there we've got part of the wing. And now I can change my appearance back to default. I don't want a linear pattern actually, I want to do a fillet. I'm going to fillet every one of these edges. And in fact, probably be faster and easier to do a face on most. Yep. So we've got fillets everywhere. Except there. <laughs> and then uh, I can add in a separate fillet here. Just like that. Okay, from here I'll do a mirror across the right plane. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this fillet for a moment. Uh, so I've got my loft. I'm going to do my extrude. And then I'm going to do fillet one and fillet two. Right? So, right there. Oh, but I've got kind of a problem because I forgot to do that cut that I did. So, we're going to go to mirror and up in here and choose this cut. And do we look the same on both sides? I believe we do. So now we've got a body with some wings. We're starting to look more like a Raffel as we go. Uh, tune in the next video. Let's do some work on the canopy section of the plane. I'll, uh, if this video is helpful, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.